beautiful people welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for joining the channel today if this is your first time guys do not forget to subscribe to the channel and support the movement so that we can grow it together thank you so much if you are new my name is milton thank you please like this video and do not forget to subscribe below because if you do subscribe youtube is going to tell somebody or like the video youtube is going to tell somebody that this is an important video here and indeed this video is going to be an important one today's video i want to talk to you about a particular university that is very cheap in germany and you can equally pay small amounts of tuition approximately 500 euros per month that is to say you pay tuition in this particular university every month it's not like you are going to be paying every year remember when you gain admissions to this school after paying your tuition fee then you can now put money in the blocked account that you need but again there are other schools in germany where you are not even going to pay anything at all let me talk about these schools before we focus more on this particular university so that i can explain some details to you now remember before a lot of countries in europe were not paying tuition fee like if you wanted to move to so many countries in europe like finland sweden as an international student you were not to pay tuition fee they will not ask you for anything like tuition fee but nowadays if you want to move to many european countries you have to pay your tuition and germany is still tuition fee free though some of the universities charge tuition fee but if you are looking at uh, state universities know that they are still free up till april may session all right because in germany they have april may which is the spring intake and of course september october intake which is the fall so as of fall 2024 in germany you would be asked to pay tuition fee now the reason i'm making this video is because i want to clarify something for those of you who, are, who didn't apply before there is no way you can apply now and move to germany before april because i know except that you really find a school which is still open and of course you are able to apply for visa on time because i know appointment now takes a lot of time when it comes to german visa and in various african countries but i understand that not people from cameroon not everybody is from nigeria not everybody is from ghana watching me some people are from rwanda egypt morocco south africa where the appointment system is flexible i would encourage you to try to look at these few universities in germany i'm going to mention them now the very first one you should take a look at is called degendorf institute of technology i have a video about this school on my youtube channel on this youtube channel where i said they do not charge any tuition fee all right and again with degendorf you can study a lot of courses like human resource management and some engineering programs and remember for you to get enrolled for you to be accepted at degendorf you need to at least get what is called ielts exam or the TOEFL exam i am speaking from experience because i know someone who actually got these exams before he could apply to degendorf and he was selected and currently he has finished the study program i'm explaining because this school is in munich and if you want to migrate to germany know that you are going to be studying in munich germany and again this school is a very flexible school all you need to pay is uh, a semester contribution which is 60 euros but as of september you are going to pay around 500 euros as a contribution for semester fee all right not like semester but now as tuition because they are introducing tuition fee into german public universities that's the first school they have english programs and they have programs taught in english and german so please check them i am saying so because i know people who have studied there the second school i want to talk about before we continue with the first school i was telling you about is called the university of mining and technology in freiburg this school it is called technisch beggar kandemi it is in freiburg the freiburg with the one with erg at the end not freiburg okay because there is freiburg there is freiburg this school is more or less like a mining school they have programs like sustainable mining they have programs like material science they have some economics related programs they have also joint degrees they equally have programs like hydrogeology they also have like management programs all right they also have some geophysics related programs and some material science programs so please check them out and for as of now 
the only thing you are going to pay is a semester contribution which in this particular school is 363 euros because the semester contribution in most german institutions are not the same okay but in this particular school the amount is 363 now when you gain admissions admissions here doesn't take a lot of time when you get the admissions you cannot proceed with visa process but before you move to visa stage you have to accept the offer then you pay the first um the money they're asking you the semester contribution which is 363 euros and i don't think if it's more than 370 but i know it's within this range so please check them out and remember the, some of the programs will ask you to submit IELTS. Why others will not ask you to submit this exam? Also, pay attention to the semesters. Not all programs are available for both semesters. Some will are available only for one semester, some for two semesters. So please check them out. Then you apply. I know if you apply now, before maybe like two, one month maximum, you are going to get your offer. Remember, with the English requirement, you can go to your school and take the English proficiency from your school, not necessarily the IELTS. But make sure you check the requirements very well. They only have master's programs in English language. So guys, check them out. Now, this other school I'm going to talk about right now is called International University of Applied Sciences in Germany. And for you to apply to this school, you first of all need to look for a program then when you look the program you choose when you want to start the studies and of course you apply online then you sign your contract when you apply online you have to sign the contract then you upload the documents and you relax remember i said this school is a very flexible school because of the payment policy and the way the application is done with the policy you pay monthly and again the, with the application when they give you the admissions letter you will still need to pay some small amounts of money but not huge but remember after you do this payment to apply for visa you still need the blocked account because without the blocked account or affidavit of support coming from somebody in germany you may not apply for the visa please put this into consideration they have courses with 120 ects which are master's programs for two years they equally have courses for 60 a, with 68 CTS credit units which are master's program for one year now one thing you need to know is that it is flexible what do i mean here you can study offline you can study online so during the application process you have to choose which method you want to use to study in germany they have courses like uh, artificial intelligence business management they also have cyber security they have growth hacking they have human resource management human resources they also have project management they also have business management there is also healthcare social sciences and digital marketing and of course digital production management there are a lot of courses here i'm just bringing out these ones because i want you to understand now if you study at this university there is a possibility that you can upgrade your career you can decide on which career path you want to follow and again they have a lot of programs but if you are broke guys please do not look at this university rather look at the other universities i mentioned before because it is possible that you can quickly study for free in those universities we never can tell germany might decide that at the end of this year or towards the september semester they will still not ask for any tuition from international students because of the blocked account because if they start charging tuition fee it means they are going to increase their money for blocked account well nobody really cares in as much as you are an international student and you are looking for options to jackpot then you need to put all this into consideration this is the advice i can give to you please also remember there are other affordable places you can go czech republic is affordable Ch slovakia is affordable malta is really not that affordable well i can say it's affordable and the others cheap but if you really want i think finland is somehow affordable though now finland has increased tuition fee in most of the public schools which means that even when you get the admissions now admissions is closed already guys the results will be published very soon when you get that you will still need to pay tuition before you start the visa process i hope you understand so this is all i have for you today please make sure you go through these universities i mentioned check this particular university international university of applied sciences and take a look at the programs available they have a lot of programs take a look at the online programs and those that are offline it is very important so that you do not make errors i hope this video helps you i'll be talking about the visa application well for the visa application to germany it is not that difficult it is pretty simple or somehow straightforward what do i mean here 
you just need for your blocked account you put money in a bank the name of the bank is called fiti bank and they work together with Sitcher Bank. So you are going to create an account with this bank in Germany. Then when the account is ready, they are going to give you the IBAN, the SWIFT code, and the banking details, the account number. You put the money, you transfer the money to this account. Then they will now give you documents to prove that you've transferred the money. Mind you, if you do not transfer the required amount, the embassy needs like 11,400 euros, they will not accept. They will send you back to go and do the remaining transfer. So you have to put all of this into consideration. It's so important it's either you do this transfer the account must be in your name or you get an affidavit of support from somebody who lives and work only in germany okay or otherwise you withdraw the application and look elsewhere so this is how the process for germany is and i will advise you that if you but don't put your ex only on germany if you are from cameroon nigeria ghana because the appointment system can be so so frustrating you understand please make sure you like this video for us because if you like the video youtube is going to recommend to many people like i said before please give this video a like this is the only way you can encourage me and i would be so grateful thank you so much till we meet again in another one hey beautiful people um just a quick video if you are new to my page my name is milton Fonkwa. i'm a researcher i'm a study abroad consultant um i also share study abroad content to international students prospective international students okay so if you are seeing my face for the very first time please share this video and also do not forget to like the video as well now um just an update to those who didn't know there are a lot of like there are about four changes ircc is just announced with immigrating to canada now it depends on if you are going for a diploma a master's or maybe you are moving with your spouse but this is my advice as you are watching this video if you have not watched i just dropped a video on my youtube channel milton Fonkwa. please watch that video till the end and see the various updates and the advice i gave i'm still going to give some advice here and which is please do not put your ex only on canada as you are watching me from now try to apply to other european countries because this is the only way if you really want to move i have a lot of people on my youtube channel and equally on this page and my other page milton Fonkwa, who are telling me they really want to move abroad and i cannot advise you to put your ex only on canada the journey is a continuous journey so you can start from anywhere you think you have the money and you can afford do not run more than your shadow because you might not end up well i wish you all the best i will keep dropping videos here to educate us and let's see how it can go it is all about impacting the community it is all about helping one another grow and of course please if you need an appointment book from this page every detail in my bow or check my youtube video description box for all the links till we meet again